This is Tyler Benson from Warm Up Inbox. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect a Google Workspace account to your Warm Up account. Uh, it's a very quick process. Typically, it takes a minute or two to get set up. Uh, so let's get started. Once you sign in, you'll be greeted by the main dashboard of your account. So what you're going to want to do to add your first inbox is click on the Add Inbox button at the top left corner of the screen as seen by my web cursor. Once you are there and you click on it, you'll be greeted by a page that is similar to this. And so what you're going to want to do to connect a Google Workspace account is connect the Google Workspace button. There it'll bring you to a page similar to this. All you need to do to get started is to click on the App Access Control button and it'll bring you up to a page similar to this. To give a quick note, you need to do this under the administrator account of your email workspace. You cannot enable these settings or you cannot add this uh, without admin privileges. So either you have to do that under the admin account or you have to send it over to your administrator to get set up for you. And for that, you can just send over the code that we'll going over later. So once you do that, as you can see, I already have this added, but I will walk you through how to add it if you don't already uh, have it existing. So all you're gonna do is click on the add app button and to note, you have to click the view list first in order to get to this page if it's not showing up by default. Uh, you click here. You click OAuth app name or client ID, then it'll bring you to a page similar to this. And then all you're going to want to do is go to step three of our setup guide, click copy and paste, add that in right here, click search, and then it'll bring up our tool. All you're going to do is you're just going to click select, and then you're going to click this little checkbox, and then click select, and then click trusted. And then it'll load for a second, and then you should be greeted by a success message, but in this case, because I already had it added, um, I was given an error. But if this is your first time adding it, you will not be greeted by this type of error. Um, and then so once you do that and it shows up right here, then you're all set. You are good to start adding any inbox under this workspace to your account. So you click done, then you click sign in with Google and it'll bring you up to this familiar um, OAuth page that you see if you sign up for other services of a similar nature. Then all you're going to do is click on the inbox that you wish to connect and then you're going to click advanced and then you're going to click go through and then this page will bring up a bunch of services that you need to approve. So you need to approve this, this, this and that and these will be open checkboxes that you just click check on. And then once that is enabled you will click continue and then it will authorize for a second and it is loading and then boom you'll be graded by a page similar to this. And so all you need to do from here is just enter in the relevant information. So this account that I'm adding is under my name. So I will add it as Tyler and the last name Benson. And under here, you can adjust the sending frequency that this inbox will be performing when it's active under your account. Um, we have all the definitions right here. Any questions about anything, you can always feel free to write in and ask. Um, but you can adjust this as needed. Um, and yeah, once you have everything configured as to how you want, all you will do is click Add Inbox, and it'll take a minute or two to load, and then boom, you'll be greeted by a hooray, you did it message. And so that means that you have successfully connected your inbox to the platform. Now, if you click into it, you can see that here are all the metrics. Um, if you wish to pause it, you can pause it right here. If you wish to delete it, you can delete it right here. For additional settings, you can configure additional information as needed. Uh, this will fill up over time as you send out emails. Um, and that's it. We handle the entire warm-up process automatically, so once you connect it to the platform, there's nothing further that you need to do. We handle the everything automatically, you're done. And so that's it, easy peasy. If you have any questions about anything, um, always feel free to write in and we'd be happy to help you get connected. Thank you, bye-bye.